In this segment, we're going to cover what is back EMF in power supply applications. Now back EMF is defined as an electromagnetic force appearing in an inductive circuit in such a direction as to oppose any change of current in the circuit. What that means is that common inductive circuits can be described as electric motors, relays, or solenoids. Now inductive loads have a property of storing energy that is generated in a magnetic field. The moment we stop that power flow to the load, the load will try to release that energy back to the power source, in which case, in our case, is a power supply. To illustrate this clearly, let's review how an electric motor can generate back EMF. Electric motors work as motors when you, we apply electric power to them. They also can act as a generator when the motor is spinning and we cut power. So what applications challenges do we face with back EMF? Back EMF can cause issues in electronic systems if we do not build protection circuits around them to mitigate the effects. With power supplies, back EMF can cause a reverse current to go back into the power supply. This can cause a stress in the internal components of the output circuits of the power supply. The voltage generated by this back EMF may cause the overvoltage protection function to trigger in the power supply as well. What design strategies can we use to protect these power supplies from the effects of back EMF, you may ask? Well, let's cover some of the design considerations we have with powering inductive loads with power supplies. The first is to use blocking diodes in series with the load. A blocking diode will conduct when the power is applied to the inductive load, but when the power supply output shuts off, the blocking dial will prevent the current from flowing back to the power supply. However, this diode by itself will not prevent the voltage across the load from increasing. If we look at the picture, we can see that while we prevented the current from flowing back to the power supply, if we trace the current flow now, we can see that the current flows in a conventional way. However, with the power supply being off, the voltage polarity is now reversed across the output of the power supply. If this voltage becomes too large, the output capacitors of the power supply may be damaged. So to prevent this, we can apply a diode across the output like this. This diode will forward conduct when the load energy dissipates and it will prevent the voltage from exceeding 0.7 volts. We also commonly refer to this as a freewheel diode. For high power applications, we commonly will choose Shockley diodes. Now, Shockley diodes typically will have lower forward voltages, typically down to 0.3 volts DC. This minimizes the voltage drop to the load and allows for higher efficiency. To learn more about back EMF and design strategies to reduce the effects of back EMF in your system, give us a call here at TRC. Our engineering team will help you select the best power supply and components for your design.